Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to bringing the Division video. Today, I want to show you guys this week's Clan Avenger reset for the Division 2. Keep in mind, I will have the Cassie Mendoza reset as well tomorrow. When she resets, as of right now, she's currently closed, uh, so you can't go there and visit and see what she has. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to my videos, and let's get right into this. Alright, so the first Avenger you guys want to stop by is the White House, and the first item I would recommend checking out is this Police M4. What it comes with is 12,114 base damage, for the talents it actually has measured, extra, and transmission. This one's pretty good, it does have a 79% damage roll on it, so it's not the highest, but it is up there. If you need a police M4 for a PvP build, PvE build, this one's actually pretty good. It does have measured already, it does have extra, um, so you can reroll extra for like Allegro if you want to use it for PvP. If not, keep extra, and overall this will be a decent pickup. The last item you guys want to check out is this Offensive Protocol mod. This one actually comes with 1% weapon damage, 2.5% headshot damage, and 3% critical hit chance. Now overall this mod isn't really the best one, but if you are in need of some critical hit chance, if you're making like a rifle critical hit chance build, maybe a AR crit chance build, something like that, this mod can be very useful, especially for new players or returning players since you don't have, you know, any of those good kind of offensive mods. This is something that can really help you out with weapon damage and just overall critical hit chance for any uh, type of scenario. For PvP, for PvE, this mod would be good to use. Next up, you guys want to stop at the Clan Avenger, and the first item you want to check out is this Percussive Maintenance Backpack. I do apologize if I'm saying that wrong, but this backpack is actually pretty good. It is a Alps Summit backpack that gives you skill haze, skill power, and hive skill power as well. For attributes, it does come with 24,218 armor with 6.5% critical hit damage, and it also comes with perfect tech support and insulated for the hazard protection. Overall, this one's a pretty decent pickup. It's not the best, but if, if you reroll something like critical hit damage, get something uh, like weapon damage maybe, or, or something else, this can really work out for you. Now moving down, you guys actually want to check out these True Patriot gloves. These are actually pretty good because one, they do have a 11% also rifle roll on them, so even if you're not going to use True Patriot, you could roll off this damage and put it into your main gloves. 11% is actually pretty high um, in the game. But also, if you want to use this, you can reroll the Marksman Rifle damage, get something like Crit Chance, and you will have two offensive attributes on your gloves. So it's pretty good overall, in my opinion, especially if you want to just use a two-piece uh, True Patriot for the total armor. This is something you can use and take the benefit for having two offensive attributes. Moving down, I would recommend checking out this uh, P416, this military P416. It's not the best one, but again, I do understand there's some new players, some returning players to the game. The P416 is still a very viable weapon in the game, although I don't think it's the best weapon anymore. It is still a pretty good assault rifle. Uh, this one actually comes with 12,339 base damage, and for the talents, it does have Optimist, Extra, and Rooted. Pretty good talents overall. You can reroll uh, Optimist, get something else on this. Uh, but just overall, if you need a decent uh, assault rifle, the base damage on it is not the highest, but if you just need a decent assault rifle for PvE, this one will do it. And the last item I would recommend checking out is this Air Aldi Holdings chest piece. This one I would recommend just checking out for the armor. It does have 31,127 armor. So if you do need a little bit more armor on any other chest piece you have, uh, if you're using it for PvP or PvE, you can roll off the armor of this one, put it into your main chest piece, and you should be set. Besides that, this chest piece is not really the greatest, it only has hardened on it and critical hit damage, which isn't uh, really the best. So yeah, this is everything for the Clan Venture. If you are interested in any of those items, definitely check out this Venture. Up next, we are stopping by the Theater Settlement, and the first thing you want to look at is this Police MK17. What it comes with is 38,966 base damage, which is actually very high. It is around 84-85% damage roll. And for the talents, it does have Strained, Extra, and Protected Deploy. This one's actually pretty good. I might have to buy this myself uh, because the Police MK17 I have right now isn't the greatest with the base damage. So this one's definitely higher. Um, definitely a great PvE kind of rifle, in my opinion. One of the best rifles in the game in general. So, um, you know, if you're making a rifle build for PvE, for PvP, definitely pick this one up. You don't have to use the talents. You can roll off something else. One thing is, really quickly, if you are using a rifle... Try using Lucky Shot, it's really going to help you out, especially if you don't have the best aim. Lucky Shot is is really, really good, trust me. So yeah, you could roll that on for Strained on this weapon. 
The last thing is this defensive system mod. What it comes with is 5,171 armor, 2% explosive resistance, and 6,142 health. Uh, this one's overall a pretty good mod if you are going for a more survivability kind of build, a little bit more tanky. It's going to give you 5,000 armor, 6,000 health. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good mod. Maybe if you are using like a clutch build, the health can really help you out as well. But just overall, a really good mod in my opinion. So once again, this is located at the theater settlement. Getting straight into the DZ, the first person you guys want to stop by is a DZ West Venture. And the first thing you want to look at are these Wyvern Wear gloves. What they come with is 3.5% critical hit chance and 5% pistol damage with clutch. Now these gloves, although they're not 500 gear score, they're still pretty good because they do have two offensive attributes. And you can roll off the pistol damage onto uh, like SMG damage or AR damage, something like that. And you will be kind of benefiting from two offensive attributes on your gloves. Obviously, since you're using clutch, you want as much critical hit chance as possible. And with this kind of set, you will be getting an extra 3.5%, which is actually pretty good, especially for PvP. Uh, so once again, check out these gloves if you are interested. And the last thing is from this vendor is this defensive mod. This one actually comes with 8,272 health, 5% skill health, and 1,879 armor on kill. Uh, this is once again a pretty good mod for just clutch builds. Uh, stack as much health as you possibly can. If you're going for like 200k health or something like that, you could use something like these mods and it's really going to boost up your health. If you stack like five or six of them on your build, you know, you could just you could just do the math of how much extra health you'll be getting just from these mods. The last venture you guys want to stop by is a DZ East Avenger, and the first thing you want to check out is this M249B LMG. This one actually comes with 16,897 base damage, which is a 91 or 92 damage uh, percent roll on it, which is pretty high for LMG. It also comes with Sadist, Distance, and Transmission. Moving one spot down, we do have a Providence Defense Mask that comes with 10% skill haste, 35% hazard protection, and also empowered for the 20% uh, extra skill power. This mask is actually really good, especially if you're making a kind of utility build, like a skill power uh, type of build. This will give you a lot of skill power, also skill haste, and you're also receiving hazard protection, which is very, very important for both PvP and PvE. And then the last item you want to check out is this Alps Summit Armament uh, Holster. Once again, this is for a skill power uh, type of build. This one actually comes with 658 extra skill power, and it also has insulated for 30% extra hazard protection. So again, this kind of category is a little bit more for skill power builds for PvP or PvE, so if you are interested in these items, they are located at DZ East. But anyway, that's going to be everything for the video today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about the game or the reset, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.